So, dude. I was gonna go out to the mall today and then um, something happened to the car. So, I'm kind of just here alone. And I'm gonna talk about my favorite Broadway musicals. Just to clarify, I've never seen any of these shows. <laughs> because I have never gone to the States before, but from, you know, listening to cast recordings, seeing some Broadway shows in the Philippines, such as, you know, Kinky Boots and stuff like that, I think I have a well-rounded amount of opinions. And if I don't mention a show, it does not mean I do not like it. There's some shows that I'm not very much a fan of, but other than that, let's get started. Number one, and this is in no particular order, Anastasia, B, B. I love everyone in this cast, and I'm so sad that I did not, I was not able to go to a trip to New York with my classmates. I'm very grateful that they were able to go because they were able to attend something I really wanted to go to, which is the MMUN. But they watched Anastasia with the entire original Broadway cast, and sis, 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 sis. sis. I love it. I love Christy. I love Derek. I love Caroline. I love John. I love everybody in this damn cast. I listen to this recording at least once a day when I go to school. Like at least one of the songs go to is always um my Petersburg. Number two, waitress. I love Sarah Bareilles. I love pies. I love good stories and I love them. Um, I love happiness in the end. So I love waitress. I love the music. I think Jesse Mueller is amazing. I think Yala said is amazing. Greatest showman says Miko Glenn's also in the cast. Drew Gailey's in the cast. And you always have such good women playing the roles. I wish there were people of more people of color though, that'd be great. I want like someone like to play Jenna who's like a person of color. I don't know, I'm just so obsessed with the idea, but waitress is coming to Manila via Atlantis Theatrical this year, and I'm excited to see what they do with it. So, number three. Jesus Christ, Superstar. I can't say you can clearly tell, but I'm not really necessarily religious, but I really do like this show. Um, it, it taught me who a lot of people were that I did not know in the Bible. I'm sorry, God. But what is it? Um, I think it's such an interesting show because I don't really like a lot of Andrew Lloyd Webber's work. Not, that, not to say that he's not talented, but it's the it's the one I'm really, really happy with. Um, I love the music. My favorite song, I think, is Heaven on Their Minds. Super random dream role, Judas, Judas, Judas. I remember saying that in the middle of class once, like, I want to be Judas. And I see like a group of children just go. Sis. Anyway, so I love Jesus Christ Superstar. I love the music. I love the rock element mixing with like the Christian element. I think it's a very relatable musical, especially if you are religious. So I love it. Number four. West Side Story. Let's go. It's an OG musical, I mean. I love me some Sondheim. I am, I'm starting to get into Into the Woods more and more and more. I really love the character of Cinderella. I think that's a role that I really do want to play from what I've heard, but I love West Side Story. It's one of the first movie musicals I really, really loved watching. And I recently watched the tour with um, Kevin Hack and Jenna something. Forgive me, but that production was really, really good. I love the Anita. I love Anita in general. I think it's such a good integration of dance. I love, I just want to dance every time I hear, you know. Like, I'm just gonna vote with the entire soundtrack, like. Anyway, so yeah, I love West Side Story. It's such a classic. It's, it's heartbreaking, which I love, but. I also love, I'm a sucker for Romeo and Juliet as well, so. Number five. I think I'm gonna stop right here. Just because, mm, I don't know, it's a decent amount of people or musicals, excuse me. And that is Grease. I know the, the moral of the story and the ending is kind of like, oh sis, no, no, no. Times have changed, but um, 
you can clearly tell I love Aja from RuPaul's Drag Race. And anyway, I just, it's a classic. I watched it growing up. It's one of, other than West Side Story, it, I can't tell which came first, West Side Story or Grease. Maybe it was Grease. But it's funny. It's a classic. I love Olivia Newton John. I have yet to see Xanadu. I really want to watch Xanadu. I just don't like watching a lot of movies, but this is one of the few movies that I'll watch and repeat as in. And I did a production of it called Grease Lightning. That was fun. I love the music. I love the classicness. Classic classicity. Classicity. Let's make it a thing of it all. So, yes. I love me some Grease Lightning. I love me some. There are worse things I could do. I recently sang a song from Grace Hope Hopelessly Devoted to You in an open mic. And that was really, really fun. I mean, I made a lot of friends there. I am classic. I love it so, so much. I hate the moral of the story, though. It's horrible. But yeah, let's go. So that is my list. I guess I'm going to call this my top five. I'm not that sure. But thank you for watching and wasting your time on me. Sorry. But I'm quiet. I don't like being very loud. At least when there's other people in the house, I promise I'm not this sad in, you know, in any case. But thank you so much, so, so much for watching. I hope you give a few of these a listen. And yeah. Bye.